Uh, welcome to my part two blog. If you haven't seen my part one, please hit that uh, link down there and please watch my part one on why your computer is performing slow. But if you have watched that and you want to increase the speed of your computer, you've watched the right video. Okay, number one that could increase the speed of your computer without any monetary value, without anything at all, is to clean up your software. Okay, how do you clean up your software? You might delete unnecessary programs, unnecessary files. You might arrange them or partition them if you have a mechanical hard drive. But if you have an SSD, you might just clean up the software. It might help your computer. Okay, other times, removing the virus itself. If there's a malware right there, if you just delete all your files or just make a reformat altogether, if that's not tiring of your uh, efforts, why not? It could really increase the speed of your computer. Okay, without any effort or sorry, without any uh, shelling out of money or cash. You just need your time and your patience. Okay, next is if you don't have the time or patience, you just want to uh, increase the speed of your computer is to transfer all your files into a solid state drive. Okay, SSD. If you have an old mechanical hard drive, you know, the thing that has a magnetic head, you might want to convert that into a solid state drive. It's really cheap right now. The only problem is migrating your files from your old hard drive to the new SSD. It might take some time or sometimes it won't even fit because SSDs tend to be smaller in uh, size compared to the mechanical hard drives. But actually I've converted myself from mechanical hard drives to SSDs and it's worth it. Okay, the discipline of cleaning up your files, the discipline of backing up your files is important, especially in the SSD world, because sometimes if mechanical hard drives fail, you can still recover them. But in SSDs, most, most of the time, if it fails, you won't be able to recover them. So that's it. Replacing your mechanical hard drives to an SSD or NVMe hard drive. Well, it's one part of the SSD. As long as it doesn't have the magnetic head, magnetic plates, it's solid state, meaning it's in the electronics itself. It keeps the memory, the bits of all the data in the electronic bits, then that's solid state. Number one, again, you have to clean up your computer, remove the unwanted software, back up the files, remove unnecessary files. You might want to reformat it. Number two, you convert your hard drive to mechanic, from mechanical to solid state. Number three, you upgrade your RAM. Okay, RAM upgrade is very important because sometimes when you browse the net, use Google Chrome or any browser, it really takes up a chunk of the RAM. Mostly 70 or 60% of the RAM is dedicated to browsing. And not just that, sometimes you need to use a word processor or a spreadsheet. So it's going to take up all your RAM, especially if you have an old unit that has four gigabytes of RAM. I know in 2020, that's not enough. You must upgrade to at least eight gigabytes of RAM nowadays. Okay, hey, if you decide to upgrade your RAM, you must do a lot of research, especially if your computer or laptop uses uh, DDR3 or DDR4. It doesn't matter the frequencies, especially if you have a lot of different frequencies of RAM. Your motherboard will just uh, adapt to the slowest frequency available. So don't worry about the frequency. Worry about the compatibility. If it's DDR4, DDR3, okay? If it's laptop or PC, you must know the difference. And once you know the difference, you could place an order online. Just wait for it. And if you don't know how to install a RAM, I have a video on how to install a RAM in your computer. You may watch that and it's really gonna help, especially if you're using heavy tasks or heavy programs such as the Google Chrome with Adobe so uh, software. Okay, you're gonna need RAM. As of now, I have 20 gigabytes of RAM in my Windows machine and that's good enough for me. It's not even gonna it's not gonna complete the 20 gigabytes. I've only used about 11 gigabytes so far, maximum. Okay, so you upgrade the RAM. Next up, if you wanna make your computer faster, okay, the best bet I want you to do is this. Sometimes your computer might have a broken part, a broken piece of hardware that you wanna replace, especially the fan, yeah. It doesn't seem right, like well, right? The fan. Why? Sometimes the fan might not be working properly. It doesn't spin right or it doesn't spin at all. But most of the time, if it doesn't spin, it will produce an error and you must replace the fan. But most of the time, the fan is dusty. Okay? Please clean the fan. Spray air in it. Okay? Okay? Or if it's not moving properly, put some grease 
or some oil or lubricant in that kind of gear system or in that uh, uh, what they call this a rotor of the fan okay I've experienced that in my old ThinkPad laptop it throttles really fast that's why uh, I need to clean the fan and upon inspection the fan is not spinning right it kind of vibrates it's slow um, the only fix that I did was place oil and it was good as a new okay Again, there are four things. Number one is to clean up the software. Number two, convert to SSDs. Number three, upgrade your RAM. And number four, your fans, your cooling system. Please check on that, okay? Okay, here's another bonus tip for you. It might not be the best. I'm not recommending this to everyone, but only a few people. If you want to keep your settings or data, do not let Windows or any of those software automatically update your computer why because if you let those computer software programs update themselves you're gonna get a lot of bandwidth your internet connection is going to be slower and your software is going to be larger chunkier more secure more stable yet it's too heavy for your use right now if your software is okay you don't need a lot of add-ons you don't need a lot of functionality you just need that software right now you might just uncheck that automatic update Especially with Windows, sometimes you just get random updates with Windows. You can just up, um, update it later if you want. You can just uncheck the automatic update or download, or you could ask your permission first before you upgrade it, but it's not for everyone. Sometimes we need more security than functionality. That's why I don't recommend this last one, but it might help you to increase the speed of your laptop or computer. So hopefully these, uh, this one helps. Please uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, and if you find this video interesting, please uh, share this to your friends. Hopefully, this will help you. Okay, these are my tips. These are not the perfect tips, but these are my personal and own tips. So hopefully, this could help. See you. Bye. See you. Bye-bye.